Um, so, sorry, I have to go back to my notes. Um, so, talk about the upcoming meet. Uh, conference championships. Uh, for us, this is the biggest meet of the year. Um, this is kind of the only meet where individual performances aren't quite as important as the team as a whole. Um, this is the only meet of the year where we have our competition is scored and we're really just trying to score as many points as we can and rank as high as we can as a team. Um, no. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Um, there's 12 teams on the women's side of the conference um, and seven on the men's side. Um, the women's side has gotten a lot bigger in the last few years, so there's a lot more, um, a lot more competition. Um, overall, though, we have a very, very strong conference. Um, I think it's one of the strongest in the country, and um, you know, we're just looking to do our best. Now, a lot of your athletes are like PRing and meets. You know, when we talked the last time, you said how everyone's PR. So, do you think that'll be good for like the conference championship overall in, in regards to scoring the most amount of points? Yeah, you know, actually, this this last weekend um, was one of the few weekends for us this season where we didn't see a ton of PRs. Um, and you know, as as that can be disappointing as a coach, not getting a bunch of you know breakthroughs. Um, and especially with you know, we went down to LA and we had about five meets down there, and we had uh, another group going up to Eugene this last weekend. So we had people competing all over the place and. You know, we were really just trying to provide everybody the best weather, the best competition, the best facilities, um, you know, the best everything to try to give them the best opportunities. Um, and, you know, to come out of that and not have a lot of breakthroughs is a little bit frustrating. Um, but I, I won't say that, um, that it wasn't worthwhile because they did get a lot of really good experience competing against uh, some of them world-class athletes. Um, and I think what it does offer us is that everybody is really hungry going into the conference championship. Um, you know, they're, they're not banking on uh, just getting a PR because it happens every weekend. They know they really have to get after it and they have to earn it. Um, and they have to compete well head to head with the other teams. So, you know, that's something that we can take from this last weekend, um, you know, and, and just know that you really have to get out there and get after it to earn your spot in finals. So going off of last weekend with not that many PRs, you said as a coach, it's kind of disappointing. How will you prepare for the conference? Um, you know, we are, our training is, is really, it's, it's not super different from the rest of the year. Um, we are kind of tapering a little bit in terms of, um, you know, just less volume and trying to have higher quality, less reps. Um, you know, but, but the biggest aspect is just the mental preparation and, you know, just talking to our athletes and trying to make sure that they're prepared for what to expect, um, you know, and that they know what it's all about. and. Um, you know, really when it comes down to it, um, not trying to overextend themselves, um, but knowing that, you know, everybody at this one weekend at the conference championship, everybody's not going to be getting PRs, you know, from all programs. Um, so regardless of whatever you're ranked going into the competition, just knowing that if you do your best that weekend, you're likely to surpass, you know, a lot of people who, you know, are dealing with injuries at the end of the season or who, you know, maybe had a really good early season and had a good ranking, but you know now they haven't been doing so well the last few weeks, and you wouldn't even know that because you see their best mark of the year. Um, you know, so just trying to be confident and knowing that um, if they are competing at or near their PRs right now, that they're in a really good place to to surpass some people at the conference championships. Uh, you said this weekend is more about team results as opposed to the individual results. I'm just curious, how does that change the way? Uh, people go in and compete, their mindset, the strategy, that kind of thing. Yeah, you know, it's, it's really, it's a lot more fun, I think. Um, competing individually, is it's always challenging personally, um, and it's always a lot of pressure, you know, on, on the individual. Um, but being an individual sport, we lose some of that kind of fun head-to-head -head competition. Um, and when you're competing, you know, as a team, as a program for points, you really come together and uh, you really have to support each other. Um, and it really becomes something bigger than yourself. Um, and for me, you know, that's the, the most enjoyable part of being on a team, you know, and, and I think that's something that um, in our sport, we kind of lose out on the majority of the year. Um, so it's just, it's, it's really fun. You know, we're really looking forward to uh, really bringing the team together um, and supporting each other and, and, you know, just trying to scrap for every point we can possibly get. Did that answer your question? I don't even yeah, remember what your question no, was. Totally, yeah, totally, yeah, definitely. That's all I got. I got one. Um, you, know, you were talking about how not everyone's going to be hitting 
PRs this week, and it is more team based. So I guess what are your expectations for your teams as a group? Um, yeah, you know, my expectations are, um, again, just to really come together as a team and really support each other. Um, again, regardless of what your ranking is going in, um, there are going to be people on our team that do PR, and there are going to be people that are ranked to be nowhere near finals that will potentially make finals. So, you know, just trying to um, encourage everybody to, you know, really be hungry for it and, and get after and do everything they can to make finals. Um, and, you know, being able to review at the end of day one, at the end of day two, um, you know, how many people did make it into finals and, and celebrating those small victories. Um, you know, it's all, it's just, it's a really fun meet for us to be competing in. We're just really excited for it. Awesome. Thank you. Anything else you want to add? Um, I don't think so. Great. Cool. Thank